Okay guys, so we are back out here with this 2020 Nissan Titan XD with the V8 Endurance engine. This is a crew cab truck, and again, this is the XD, so this is kind of their more serious, heavier duty half ton truck. It is a four wheel drive truck. Some of the changes from the previous generation are subtle, but they definitely stand out at the same time, such as these beautiful front LED accented lights, all LEDs, LED headlights, LED fog lights, LED high beams, LED everything up front, and they look absolutely fantastic. You can see how they've pushed the actual tow hooks out further as well, makes them more accessible if you need to use them. Has a nice grill up front too, very bold stands out. I love the fact that they're utilizing very nice tow mirrors as well. This is the Platinum Reserve package, so this is their highest trim package, and you can definitely tell this is designed to stand out, especially against other high trim packages from other manufacturers. Beautiful wheels, absolutely love the two-tone finish, and I love the red paint, plus these really long step sides that extend about a foot behind the actual cab so you can access the bed a little easier as well. The stock tires on this are General Grabber tires on 20-inch wheels. And I love the tailgate setup here. I think they've done a great job with the trim work on the back. All LED tail lights, which are also really nice. They've put this step here at the bottom corner, which is super cool and gives you easy access into the bed. But something else that's really awesome and it's an option is back here you have the ability to get a handle that you can put right here. So whenever you're stepping up, you simply stand on this step, use the handle to lift yourself into the bed of the truck, which is cool. It does have a slow opening tailgate, some nice little notches for cup holders. This has the bed track system, so you can actually put anchors and tie downs all inside of here. Plus it has their Titan box system on the side here where you can store things inside of the bed. If you put a bed cover over it, it's gonna cover this up even more. Under here, you have more storage and you also have your connection right there if you're going to be connecting any type of a trailer that requires seven-way power. From this side you have a box as well and this one's going to provide you with a 110 connection so you actually get power back here which is super cool. Now this truck is prepped for a goose ball so technically you could put a gooseneck trailer behind this. I wouldn't put anything crazy heavy though. If you have a smaller dump trailer, you have something that uses a gooseneck, you could put that behind this truck. But again, this isn't designed for, you know, a 20,000 pound gooseneck trailer. I like the mud flaps that they give you here that say Platinum Reserve on them already. Coming around this way. Very nice tow mirrors. I absolutely love it when they put a tow mirror that's truly functional and gives you a spot mirror on bottom and the main mirror on top. Here's under the hood taking a look at a very quiet V8. This is a Nissan V8 5.6 liter endurance engine. Has 400 horsepower and 413 pound feet of torque. And over here on the door sticker, you can see that this specific truck has a maximum payload capacity of 1,708 pounds. 1,708 pounds. So this is really on par with some of the higher payload packages that you can get on the crew cab trucks from Ford, General Motors, and Ram. It's not what I would consider to be above that, especially considering this is a high trim truck. It has a lot of features added to it, which all count against this. So towing capacity on this truck is gonna be a bit over 10,000 pounds, actually right under 11,000 pounds. So it has reasonable towing capacities. From a fifth wheel gooseneck perspective, again, you're still in that same range. So this truck isn't designed to be a hot shot truck towing big fifth wheels and big goosenecks down the road. This is designed if you're gonna throw maybe a trailer with a 10,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. But the reality is with 1,700 pounds worth of payload capacity, if you're gonna use this to haul a utility gooseneck trailer around, something small, I would recommend getting something that only transfers maybe about 1,300 pounds worth of weight to the back. It's not really the same as an RV because typically with an RV, you're bringing your family with you plus other supplies. So if you're gonna be hauling a utility trailer around by yourself, you have more payload capacity for your trailer hitch, which is also nice. All right, let's hop inside this truck and see what the interior is all about. So now we've moved to the interior of this 2020 Nissan Titan XD. Very, very nice. They've just done a very good job of making the interiors of their vehicles feel very upscale, very high quality materials, soft touch. They put hard plastics where they need. They put nice glossy finishes around the actual entertainment area. Just a very, very good setup. And it looks like a great progression from the previous generation. The previous generation actually looked really nice. The trucks had beautiful interiors. The difference here is that this feels a little bit nicer. It feels like a step above. And I would even venture to say that it's nicer than what I've seen in some of their luxury SUVs. It just has a very comfortable, cozy feel. And this area right here, 
kind of reminds me of the Toyota Land Cruiser. It's just a very, very well thought out area. I love the fact that they've transitioned to a nine inch infotainment system desperately needed and they absolutely hit the jackpot with putting it in this truck it looks really nice it's finished off very well i like the fact that they put physical buttons below the screen so you can access things quickly and you don't have to worry about touching screen options and going through all your menus to get to things which is also really nice i like for the ac controls that most of them are buttons and knobs that you don't really have anything you have to go through your screen up here for if you want to access quickly which is also really nice but that 9-inch screen looks absolutely stunning. Down here, you have some more controls. You have your parking sensor. And you have this really cool kind of surround vehicle protection system. So basically, this detects movement around the vehicle. And it can notify you and it can even indicate it on the camera where something's moving around your vehicle, which is pretty cool. And I believe Nissan's the only one that's offering that, especially in a stationary mode. Moving further down, I absolutely love the placement of the trailer brake controller as well as the gain control here. Very nicely laid out, very convenient if you're going to be towing a trailer. You have a USB-C and a standard USB port there. And your four-wheel drive controls are here, plus your push-button start. Now, something I would have liked to see is these vents are a little weird to me. I almost feel like it was an incomplete thought. It would have been nice if the vent extended all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom, or at least as far down as they could have gone right here, as opposed to just making it these you know, little textured plastic pieces on top and bottom. I think it would have looked nice just to finish those off and made the whole thing a complete vent. But I do like the chrome bezel around it. I think that does look nice. Now, working our way down to the center console, you have your heated and cooled seats for both sides. You have a nice pocket here. You have a place to prop your phone up. And this is actually a better design, in my opinion, than what Ram puts in their trucks, because Ram kind of takes this assembly and moves it way up here. So your phone's kind of wedged underneath the little flap that you have on the Ram truck here. I like it right here because it's placed more conveniently and it's easier to access. Right here, you have your two cup holders. This piece comes out, so you have more storage underneath here and underneath this area right here, which is really nice. In your center console, you have a place for your change and other things you need to access quickly. Very, very deep center console. So it's a very nice center console. They've set it up so you can put file folder hangers there as well, which is also nice. And of course, you have places for your pens and business cards and things right here as well trimmed off beautifully. I mean, they've just done a really good job with the interior of this in terms of soft touch materials, nice leather, nice trim work everywhere they've put it. I mean, you have nice stitching all across the front dash area right here. It's just very nice inside. The truck feels solid. It feels very well constructed and it has a very nice overall blend of wood, plastic, leather, and chrome inside of the interior of this truck. Taking a look at the seats, the seats are insanely comfortable. I have to admit that these are probably my new favorite seats in a pickup truck. They feel absolutely great. They have this really nice bolstering right here. The seats are absolutely comfortable in all directions. You have great side support. I mean, everything here is just a really thought out and well-designed seat. So I'm a big fan of those. Now, what they don't have that some other manufacturers have is a pocket up here. So it has your glove box right here but most trucks are also providing you a second pocket up here, which this truck does not have. I like how they have the wood accents on the actual doors. Nice leather in the door itself. Just a very nice feeling interior. Now, something else that some people will really appreciate is the fact that they've partnered with Fender and they've put a Fender upgraded audio system in this truck. It sounds absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm not an audiophile like I used to be when I was younger, but I still appreciate a really good sounding OEM stereo system. And I think this one really hits the mark. They've done a fantastic job tuning the system for this vehicle for it to sound absolutely great inside. Now, as we pan around, the gauge cluster right here is actually a seven inch screen behind there. Then you have your analog gauges. But this is something to notice because in previous Nissans, this was always a really cheap looking screen. It didn't provide much high resolution. It gave you some decent information, but it always kind of felt like an afterthought. Now on this newer truck, they've absolutely hit the mark. They've put a lot of really good information on it. They've made the screen a high resolution screen. It is definitely more in line with what you expect to see on higher trim trucks. Now, as we come down, small critique, I'm not a big fan of blank spots. And I think in these newer trucks, you don't really see them anymore with some brands, but the fact that they still have some blank spots on this Nissan truck, I really wish they would get rid of these and 
maybe just make a little panel here that doesn't have anything versus two empty blank buttons. But they do give you control over the 400 watt AC outlet, your cargo lamp, and you have the ability to actually rotate your headlights up and down. So that is really nice. You have adjustment capability in your headlights. And that's a big deal if you're towing trailers because oftentimes if you have weight in the back, your headlights are pointing up and they're blinding oncoming traffic. But this is really nice because you can actually tilt the headlights back down and adjust them so they're back on the road and not facing people coming towards you. Especially given the fact that this truck has very bright LED headlights. Now right here you have your headlight controls, parking light controls, you have two memory seat options here. Coming over here, you have your mirror controls right here. Now, this is kind of interesting because there's this little indention right here. And that makes me feel like there used to be a toggle switch here. But instead, to rotate from mirror to mirror, you simply twist this little knob and then you can make your adjustments. But I kind of wonder why that little notch is right there. And then standard power windows, door locks, and a very nice, comfortable armrest right here. Now, in terms of safety and security features, this truck is literally loaded with safety and security features. It has automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection. So if it detects a pedestrian in front of you, it's going to stop the vehicle for you. It has rear automatic braking as well. Lane departure warning with steering that notifies you if you're leaving your lane. High beam assist, blind spot warnings, rear cross path detection, intelligent forward collision warning, and Nissan's dynamic control system or VDC. Something else that's interesting is that they actually put your shifter here on a stock versus a center console, which is typically what you would see in most half-ton trucks. So it's a stock shifter, a really skinny arm right here, not that that really matters, but in the Platinum Reserve, you actually get it trimmed off in leather, but this is really nice. And you have your manual shifting here to shift through your nine speeds that this transmission comes with. Overall, just a really nice interior. I really like it. And I'm going to be honest with you, this, in my opinion, is on par with Ram, and it's a notch above both Ford and General Motors, easily. So if I had to grade it in order, I'd probably say it's going to be a tie between Ram and Nissan Titan, and then it would be probably kind of a tie between GM and Ford, since they both take such dramatically different approaches to the interiors of their vehicles. You have your power seats right here, lumbar control. Some very interesting floor mats, very uh, complex design to them. And it also has the Platinum Reserve door sills right here. Now let's take a look at the back of this truck. Again, nice trimming on the doors. Beautiful interior back here, plenty of leg room. Very nice bolstered headrests. Again, very nice bolstered seat backs. This is something that's interesting to me, kind of a step backwards. I like it when these are flush not sticking up like that because your arm kind of rests on that if you're using this as an actual armrest. Nice width to this area right here. Plenty of legroom. I don't think you really even need to measure any of these trucks anymore. Down here you have your rear air conditioning controls plus two USB outlets plus a 120 AC 400 watt outlet and you have heated seats back here and your standard 12 volt power supply. Plus you have some cup holders up here. The seats do fold up. And this is kind of interesting. So you can fold the seats up. So once you fold the seats up, you can fold these down into this kind of a flat platform area if you're gonna be loading like a TV or something like that and you want a flat surface. It does have a little bit of a transmission hump there, but you can fold these up and you have some storage under them, but it's not a tremendous amount of storage. So you could fit some small things back here. You really couldn't fit a hitch or anything like that under the seat. This is a very similar design to what Ram was doing for a while where they made the back flat by being able to fold these out. Now Ram has a completely flat area back here and I wish Nissan would follow suit, honestly. They're the only full-size truck manufacturer that still has a transmission hump on their truck. Not that it's that big of a deal, but it eliminates having to do this and flip this up and down when you can just have it flat back here. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed my review of this 2020 Nissan Titan XD. This is a really nice truck. I've actually enjoyed it more than pretty much any other Nissan truck I've been in. And I can honestly tell you that it is at par, and even in some cases better than some of the brands that you're probably used to looking at. Definitely a truck to take into consideration if you're looking for a new half-ton truck. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.